we checked out the service manual for the service life of these springs and the clutch pressure plate and the range is 33.9 to 32.5. So we've got 32.7, seven eight, so that's the same as that one. 32.5. That one's a little better. And the last one, 32.77. So the good news is it looks like they're all wearing at the same rate and they all are still sitting in the serviceable range, which it may be something we need to check out in the future, but I think for now, we're good to go. take it in let it sit for a little while I think that um, we got the she's all warmed up we ran it for about 10 minutes we're gonna take it in and see if we still got a water leak all right so we'll put this couple paper towels under there we'll check a couple of things we got the uh, plug the filter the cover all those are off we'll check make sure we're not leaking oil and on the other side is where we change the uh, the plug, the plug, the water pipe. So, and that will be the side that it drains if it leaks. So hopefully it's all fixed. And I do love that we got that clutch fixed. That's great. Well, it's been about an hour since we brought the bike in. We we're testing for leaks of oil and for water on our paper, and we have zero. So I think we're doing great. Two years ago is when we filmed that. And for a throwback Thursday, I thought, why not? Let's roll that back out, get it back into the memories, refresh our minds of where we are on this bike. Because this literally looks exactly as it did in that video, plus a little bit of dust here and there. The wrap has lost a little bit of its shine. 
But aside from things we've done to it, nothing new, really. And that's really a shame. I wish we had finished this bike ages ago, but you know, life gets in the way, circumstances, who knows what they were, but we are where we are and where we are is right here. The other reason why I'm bringing this guy back into the forefront is the owner of this bike is gonna make a guest appearance here this weekend. And we're gonna go over the finer details you know, pick out some color, see what we need to do about the back end, the front end. We've already worked on the middle. There's a bit here. So we're really ready. We're ready to go to get this thing done. We've also got lots of other things cooking. We've got the CD400 that's behind you, but I can see it perfectly. And it doesn't look like it did the last time you guys saw it. So there's things going on on that. The GS1100, which is just over there, that's got them, some things going on. We'll probably kick those out before we get to this, but I just wanted you guys to be aware this bike is going to be finished. June 1st, this thing is leaving the garage. It's going to its proper home, and I can't wait for it to get out of here. And not that I don't like looking at it. I love how it looks. I love the noise it makes, but it's not mine. It's got to go. So enough rambling on. Let's, uh, let's kick that outro. Watch some of these videos. I think they're gonna be up in here. Go check something else out, guys. While you're there, if you like what you see, why not consider subscribing? Hit that subscribe button. Go watch another video. Go get caught up. There's 18 videos on this bike to get it to where it is at the moment. So yeah, go back and watch those. We'll put the playlist over here. Have a great night, guys. We'll catch you guys later.